use a subquery as a field alias when you want to use the subquery results as a field in the main query. A subquery that is used as a field alias cannot return more than one field. You can use a subquery field alias to display values that depend on other values in the current row, which is not possible without using a subquery. For example, we have orders table. To find the interval between orders for each product, we can use a subquery. To determine this interval, we need to compare each order date to other order dates for that product. On the create tab, in the queries group, click on query design, add the table orders, add order ID, customer, product and order date fields. In the sort row, select descending for product and order date fields. In the fifth column of the grid, right click on the field row and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. In the zoom dialog box, enter the subquery. For each row, the subquery selects the most recent order date that is less recent than the order date that is associated with the row. Use the as keyword to create a table alias so that you can compare values in the subquery to values in the current row of the main query. Click on OK. In the sixth column of the grid, in the field row, enter this expression. This expression calculates the interval between each order date and the prior order date for that product using the value for prior date that we defined by using a subquery. Click on OK. Run the query. The query displays a list of products and the interval between order dates. The results are sorted by product and then by order date. Let's look at one more example. We have two tables, cars and car rentals. We want to list all the cars along with the last rental details. Cars that have never been rented should return null. First create a query to return the max date from car rentals which is the last rental date. Open Query Designer, add the table car rentals, add the fields car ID and rental date, click on totals. In the rental date field, in the totals row, select max. Create an alias last rental date for the max date. Run the query. The query returns the last rental dates for all the cars which are rented at least once. Switch to SQL view. Click on view and select SQL view. This is the subquery we are going to use in the main query. Open Query Designer. Add the tables cars and car rentals. Add the fields car ID, car name, rental date. We want to return all the cars from cars table including the cars which were never rented. Change the join to left join. Click on the join line and select join properties. Select the option include all records from cars and only those records from car rentals where the joined field are equal. Click on OK. Run the query. All the cars and corresponding rental details are returned. For cars which were never rented, null is returned for rental date. But we want the details of just the latest rental. We can use the query we created earlier in this query as the subquery. Switch to SQL view. Instead of joining the cars and car rentals, join the cars and the subquery. Copy the SQL of query created earlier. After the left join keyword, in place of the car rentals table name, paste the SQL enclosed in parentheses. Name the query as last rental using an alias. In the on clause, change the car rentals table to last rental.
in the select clause instead of returning the fields from car rentals table return from the sub query run the query last rental details are returned for the cars which are at least rented once null is returned for the cars which were never rented to download access example file please click on the link in the description if you like this video please subscribe to our channel